welcome back. Today I wanted to do a really cool video that I actually saw trending on Instagram, where basically there's this really cool trend that um, that a makeup artist started. Her name was Sarah Hill, and she started something called Yoga Skin. And I was like, I wasn't really sure if it was like a new trend, if it was something that was interesting, but I actually feel like it's really beautiful. And it basically is a trend to make your skin look lit from within. There was a trend before for skin to look kind of like shimmery, dewy, and this kind of is a switch onto skin that is a little bit more dewy, shimmery. So instead of having like really chunky glitters in your skin, it's really a little bit more about like really fine, almost like pearl, you know, shimmer. So things that really don't sparkle, but more like kind of just shimmer. I definitely prefer things that are a little bit more full coverage. So I'm going to do my own approach to the, um, Sarah Hill's yoga skin. So first things first, I'm starting out with my skin. You can see I had a little bit of a breakout recently. I've talked about it before saying that like my skin just like reacts a little differently when I use different products. And just so you know, this isn't bad, but this is just like a small breakout that I had. It, it was really aggressive. It was like everywhere. Just in case anybody has any skin issues, remember, your skin is an organ do not go super insane do not try to like get it off balance just go back to what you were doing before when your skin was peaceful and harmonious and it wasn't crazy <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start with concealer so in her video basically she mixed a few different products she had her foundation which was from Giorgio Armani it was the luminous silk foundation she also had a product from Kevin Aquan the celestial liquid highlighter the face oil from Kiehl's which is actually amazing it's the um, daily concentrate and then she also had the glow drops from Iconic London. So she basically, those like pearly drops that we've seen all over social media. So she makes all four of those things. So it was a very like oily, dewy finish. She put it in her hands and then she put it all over the face. The girl in the video had really beautiful skin and it looked really, honestly, it looked really beautiful on her afterwards. So I'm gonna do this a little differently. I'm first going to start by concealing any of these issues um, that I have. And I'm gonna go a little bit less oily just because yoga skin is great, but for me, it's gonna move all over the place. So I'm not gonna use as many oils. I'm still gonna go for the dewiness, but I'm gonna have to do a little bit of an adaptation so I could wear it all day. So I'm gonna first grab a concealer. This is just our overachiever concealer. You can use whatever concealer you want. I'm just looking for a little bit of a full coverage concealer and I'm gonna go ahead and first apply it underneath my eyes. If you don't have dark circles, I guess you could kind of skip this technique. And obviously I have like more makeup on that you than you would wear to yoga. Hopefully you don't wear makeup to yoga. I'm taking a small amount on my hand and I'm just gonna go ahead and conceal these areas first. I usually do like to conceal afterwards if I have to, but for this one, we're gonna go ahead and do it first. And I know my concealer doesn't match my skin. It's because I wear darker foundation. So my concealer looks like it's actually darker when it's supposed to be lighter. What I'm gonna do now is um, I'm just gonna mattify. I know that sounds weird because we're gonna add a lot of shimmer, a lot of dewiness, but again, I don't want my makeup to move all over the place. I want it to be in place, so I'm just gonna mattify only this area where my skin tends to get shiny. So to do that, I'm gonna use a primer that is super mattifying. This is just the matte perfection from our line as well. And I'm only putting it here, only in the T-zone. A lot of people may wanna skip this step, but I can't be without a mattifying primer on my T-zone. I don't know why, I have really dry skin, but whenever I put product on it, it just starts like producing all these oils and then I always get like the shininess right here in the middle. So you can see like went ahead and it, that the minerals in that product just like absorbed all those oils. So like now we are good to go. Instead of using a foundation, I'm also gonna be using a concealer for my face. And the reason why I'm choosing to use a concealer as opposed to foundation is because concealers usually tend to stay in place a little bit better. So for instance, like, you know, the area around your eyes moves so much. Like you're always making, hopefully you don't make those faces, but you smile, you mad, whatever it is. All this area, there's so much movement. The skin is so thin. So concealers in general just don't move that much. So I'm also going to use our overachiever concealer. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to start putting everything on this dish right here. I'm going to put a small amount of concealer for my whole face. That's like about a pea size. That's like pretty much basically what you need. Next, I'm gonna grab this product that I love and I just found this. I don't know actually where, when I got this. It's from Bobbi Brown. It's called the All Over Glow. Hopefully they still have it because it's stunning, like literally stunning. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put like one squirt's worth. Ooh, that came out really nice. That like looks like a nice circle. So now you can see I have my concealer and I have the highlighter. You can use however many products you want to. If you get like the right mix of products, you'll achieve this by itself. But I am just gonna mix a couple more things in. The only oily product that I'm putting in there, it's like a little bit oily. It's got like this kind of velvety oil texture to it. This is from Dior. It's a Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer in 003. It's really pretty. One of the reasons why I'm using it is because it's a little bronzy as well. So it has like this bronzy shimmer. The shimmer is so tiny. It's really pearly that you can't see it. Like, you know it's shimmery. You can see that it's shimmery, but you can't see the glitter. Um, no! 
I hate wasting product. I just dropped this and it fell flat. But it's so sad. It's like so dirty now. I have to start over. <laughs> I'm not a cute crier. I'm gonna start over again. And next, I'm gonna grab this beautiful luminizer from Dior. And I'm just basically gonna use like one squirt. I use like half a squirt. That's like exactly what I need. Last but not least, I'm gonna grab the um, Melted Strobe from our highlighter kit. This is our gold highlighter palette. Um, I'm just gonna quickly grab the Melted Strobe. I'm grabbing a nice scoop. I'm kind of like doing this thing. One for fun and two because I'm trying to remove all those little chunks of Melted Strobe in there. And now I'm actually gonna use my hands as well. Sarah used her hands, I'm gonna use my hands. I think hands are great for applying foundation. A lot of people always ask, what should you use when you're applying foundation? A sponge, brush, hands, and I always say hands give you the most coverage. I feel like brush, depending on the style of the brush, usually gives you second most, and then a sponge will always give you like the lightest, lightest amount of coverage. So I'm gonna use my hands. So I just put it there for my spatula, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start using my fingers. Ooh. Yes. Concealer kind of moved in this area. Under my eyes, it sat really well. So I just want to go ahead and finish doing these areas. It's a little shiny, but it's pretty. I think I like it. Yeah, I want a little too high in this area. You don't want to conceal around your eyes. I think that the highlighter just becomes a little too much around the eyes. I'm just going to take a little concealer and I'm putting it with a brush. Like a really, like the tiniest amount here. I'm gonna take a damp sponge for the under eye here just to kind of smooth out the concealer. So in Sarah's video, this is all she did. She basically kind of applied the product and then she didn't really set it with a powder. I don't mind this, but I feel like I need a little bit of contour and I need some powder. To contour, I'm just gonna use a little concealer. This is just from Morphe and I'm gonna apply a little bit of the shade here and apply some here along my forehead. And I know, again, I'm going so rogue. This is not what she did. I need to make this work for me. I'm just gonna take this sponge to kind of blend out that a little bit more. I'm going to set my under eyes. And again, that's not something that she did, but she actually didn't apply any concealer in the video either. So I don't really feel like she is necessarily somebody who wears concealer too much. I'm just, uh, I just applied a little concealer under the eyes. That's it. I'm not gonna apply it anywhere else. Just to kind of set everything and I wanna make sure I continue that shimmery kind of doing I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a little bit of a shimmery powder to set everything. I'm just cleaning up my mixing dish and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some Easy Bake onto it. And this way I'm gonna get like a little bit of a shimmery setting powder as well. So I'm gonna use, this is a nice shimmer. It's pure shimmer, no glitter, no chunky glitter. It's just complete shimmer from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. And it's a little bit dark. I kind of need like a little bit of a lighter color. So I'm gonna mix their dark and their light color. I'm taking a little bit of this and their lighter color here. And I'm mixing that one in as well. So basically it looks like this. I have like my Easy Bake powder and I have like these two shimmery powders. You don't have to do this step. I'm just doing because I want to set everything in place a little bit. I'm gonna try to mix this. Don't mix this on your lap. You might make a mess. I'm just gonna use this like nice buffing brush from Tarte and I'm just gonna start setting everything in place. And that definitely keeps my skin really nice and shimmery. So this really depends on your taste. Some people might think this is a little too shiny. And I know this is an extra step that Sarah did not have in her video, but I do feel like if you are somebody who likes to set your makeup in place, like I, I feel like I have to, then I feel like that is something you can do. And you can even use a loose highlighter if you want to. I think using a setting powder just kind of helps with the pores, especially when you have a lot of shimmer. I feel like you need something for the pores. And they still kind of show, but they're less. <laughs> I told you guys, I have troubled skin. My pores always show, so that's always like my number one goal in life is to like make pores disappear. It's just like like, it's a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off by spraying with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Silk Mist. I sprayed a lot, but I wanna feel like this is setting in place. I feel like my skin looks really dewy, a little greasy, but I do feel like it looks lit from within. So I don't know if this is necessarily my thing. I would probably take a couple of tips from this technique. I think I might go a little bit more matte in areas, but some areas do look really, really good. And I didn't apply any highlighter. I didn't go like on my face and apply highlighter. I did everything in a very different format, just kind of like mixing shimmer in with everything and like overdosing in those really small, tiny, itty bitty pearls. So, um, so this is it. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you guys love this video? Do you hate it? Do you love the way this looks um, and also let me know what else you guys want me to see um to try to do i love doing skin videos i definitely have a type of skin because my skin has issues so i always go for like how can i adapt things for you know my particular skin issues so uh so let me know what you guys think down below and make sure you guys subscribe like this video and i'll see you guys next time oh also turn your notifications on it's really important so you guys know when we're going to be posting new videos i love you guys so much bye guys